with all these top 10 lists of your top 10 favorite games, top 10 favorite games from such and such a system, your top 10 this, your top 10 that, I wanted to try and do something that uh, isn't as common. And with a series technically dedicated to these types of games on this channel, I thought it would be a good idea. Plus, I really highly enjoy playing Flash games because they're kind of awesome. This is Top 10 Flash Games. And by Top 10 Flash Games, I mean my Top 10 Flash Games, not technically your Top 10 Flash Games, unless you agree with me, in which case, awesome. But let's go. Number 10. Fighter Pilot 2 hits the number 10 spot. This side-scroller-ish dogfighting game has multiple missions with all kinds of different styles of targets each round, giving a variety to what you're fighting. As controls are really tight and satisfying as well, you don't feel like you're crashing for no reason besides you either got shot down or your own stupid error. It's a definitely a must-play. Number 9 I really don't know why this game is so addicting and fun, but it is. Cargo Bridge is literally just building bridges for your weird little pig people to get boxes, gold, and even elephants across. It's simplistic, but highly addictive. Number 8 A complete classic played by anybody in a 5th grade math class. Tanks is technically a math game, but with its randomized maps, huge weapon variety, and varied difficulty, it becomes a hugely entertaining game as well. This is kind of a good thing, because most of these math games are pretty shitty, but Tanks is actually really, really fun. Number 7 I couldn't make this list without this game on it, and I don't think anybody else could either. I mean, you play as former President George W. Bush shooting terrorists in the White House. What's not to love? Number 6 Arcane the Armor Collector is a weird beast. It has an arena RPG feel with a large amount of levels, challenges, and even boss fights. The armor and weapons you can buy to equip yourself with, and later on, your teammates, is really vast for a Flash game. It even has an MMO-style grinding to afford the newest gear, and it's really addicting as well. I highly recommend checking this out if you're looking for something free, fairly quick to play, and really, really fun. Number 5 I'm generally not a fan of tower defense games, but Canyon Defense has me hooked. It has a nice varied difficulty spectrum, a good amount of buildable structures to defend with, and it's never truly easy. It gives some difficulty even on the easy settings, giving it enough difficulty to keep you playing, but not enough to completely fuck you over every single time. I highly recommend checking this out to anybody interested in anything tower defense at all. It's a really cool, free little game. Number 4 Raze and Raze 2 are great arena shooters with fast-paced gameplay, power-ups, and a large weapon stockpile. The very choice in arenas, game modes, and difficulty make this game shine. And it even has a customizable profile, which most Flash games don't have. This is definitely a must-play, as is most everything on this list, but this game gives it just that little bit more, a little bit more of a tweak to it, and a little bit more of the feel of an actual game. Number 3 The game Angry Birds based itself on the hits of number 3. Crush the Castle 1 and Crush the Castle 2 are both highly entertaining, and with the Gold Star system and, of course, Create Your Own Castle system, highly replayable. If you enjoy Angry Birds or games like Angry Birds, you should really try this game out. This is the game that technically started it all, and it is really enjoyable. It has really cool weapons and throwable objects as you get through the levels, and with the Create Your Own Castle system, it has a really neat way to show off your creative skills, unlike Angry Birds. This is a really cool game. Check it out for sure. Number 2 1066 is a great little strategy game with some very unique ideas. There's loads of strategies to use, units to command, and you can never play it just once. In fact, I don't think you can ever have the same battle just once. It varies it up a lot, and you can never seem to just fight the same enemy doing the same stuff. The enemies seem to have interesting AI that actually fights differently each time you play. If you're interested in strategy games, I would definitely check this one out. Number 1 This is a recent game I've played, surprisingly. The first time I played it being on its Let's Get Flashy debut. Zomb Insanity is a wonderful zombie survival game. It has many different weapons, traps, power-ups, and more, as well as a complex room system that's randomized on each playthrough. It's a fantastic little game that I can play for hours. Well, that's my top 10 Flash games. Do you guys have a list of Flash games? I'd be really interested to actually see that, because nobody has a list of their favorite Flash games. Um, there are some that I'm leaving out as well, like Ant City and Warfare 1917. If I was going to do a top 20, they would definitely be in it. But, hey, you can't fit them all. Thanks for watching. Hey, if you liked that video, maybe check out my top 10 games of 2014, or even top 5, sorry. 
And if you don't like to see top 10, top 5 lists, well, you can go watch my console minute on the Nintendo Entertainment System, or you can go watch my review series, One Up Wednesday, and my recent review on Canada Hunt. And, hey, if you really like this video and you want to leave a like, that'd be cool, and if you want to subscribe, that'd be even awesome, too. And if you want to share it around, I mean, hey, I'm up for that as well. Thanks for watching.